Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So since Claude AI or Claude version 2 has impressed me so much, I decided to record another video showing you how to write an SEO optimized blog post for free and we won't be using any external tools, any paid tools for this. And our ambition here is to write a highly SEO optimized article by using the features of Claude, which is the 100,000 word loopback and the ability to attach different files. So our keyword in question is of course Candoc Sitlongan and what you need to do is to basically go look at the SERPs and select the first three articles or whatever criteria you choose. I would suggest you look at the DA as well and you take the, those articles that have a comparable DA with your website so I did that and I copied the three URLs and named them Article 1, Article 2 and Article 3 into the doc document. And this will be the basis of our exercise here. So let's attach the three articles. And now we'll be executing very simple commands. So the first command reads extract OSI keywords from Article 1, Article 2 and Article 3. For the seed keyword of can dogs eat long end. And I like how Claude AI is extremely fast. So I'm kind of used to a slower GPT-4 by now, but this is very refreshing. Here are the OSI keywords extracted from the three articles. Article 1, OSI keywords, Article 2, and Article 3. And look at this. This is great. And since Claude AI has this amazing loopback feature or the context window, whatever you want to call it, it will remember everything. So now that we have the OSI keywords, so we will run the second prompt, which is based on Article 1, Article 2, and Article 3, generate an outline for the above seed keyword with the use of OSI keywords. Use from letters and no more than 10. Here's a 10 point outline using OSI keywords extracted. Okay, this looks like a very robust article. Okay, 1 through 10. And now this is basically the last command. We will just be changing the word count and the section number. So for the first section, which is an intro, we don't need more than 100 words. So we will use it as is. And the command goes like use markdown formatting to write 100 words for section 1. Use bolded words, include lists and tables for relevant. Try to use as many of the OSI keywords from the OSI keywords list as possible. And I like the formatting already. Okay. And we will be assembling our article here. So whenever you see these commands, those artifacts, we will get rid of those. Once again, you just need to copy the same commands, but this time around we'll say 500 words and we'll change the section name to 2. Well, nice. Okay, beautiful. Let's add these to the whole pile. Do we have any artifacts? No, we don't. So now we can again copy the same commands here and just change the section number to 3. Now we see that there is this artifact here, which we will get rid of. But I'm liking everything that I'm seeing so far. I would just go as far as to say that Claude AI is probably the best free tool for copywriting right now. So section three section two hang on yeah and this is the part where we see the prompt okay and just rinse and repeat and this takes just like maybe under 10 minutes so let's just proceed with the section four Risks of eating long end, choking hazards, intestinal blockage, digestive upset, and all of these beautiful words like diarrhea, vomiting, and constipation that we like in those types of articles. I mean, 
and I hope Chloe AI stays free as long as possible so a lot of people can benefit from it. Dangers of seeds and shells, choking hazard, blockage, saponin toxin, damage to intestines. And this largely talks about the same things as the previous section, but you can tweak the outline obviously so there is as little overlap as possible. And excuse my voice, I feels like I'm getting sick again. It's nothing is worse than getting sick in July. Section six, and this turns out to be the biggest candoxid article ever. <laughs> I have no idea how many words this is going to be. Looks like a lot. Okay. done so we are almost halfway through now section five how much longer can dogs eat limit portion size feed infrequently what sugar intake consider health issues weigh your dog wow oh my god and this is a very relevant table actually so this is golden guys oh my god this is so good. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of this little bit here. Okay. Well, I wish this was more exciting, but it is to me. So, section six. Risks of cans and dehydrated longan. I didn't know longan could be dehydrated. Added sugar, preservatives, sulfur, dioxide, or whatever. Xylitol, and all these words that I have no idea what they mean. Okay, um, blah, blah, blah. Section seven is on its way. So this is a very lazy way of doing your articles along with alternatives. And I dare you to find a better Candoxid Longan article on the internet. There is no chance. Well, unless uh, somebody actually repeats this process and publishes it. The article, I mean. Then there will be. So, did we have these um, long alternatives? Yeah. We need to get rid of this once again. This is a bit annoying, but oh well. Consult a veterinarian, pre existing conditions, on a new medication, when unsure about serving size, if you notice any issues. And, like, I used to be, for those of you who know me, you know that I used to be in this niche. And I even had a website called safefordoc.com. And I wish I had these AI tools back then. And I sold my website for three grand. And the website wasn't even monetized. And I think it had around 5,000 page views per month. And now, with what I know right now, I could have easily bumped it up to 20,000, I think. Okay, so we are already, we are done already, and this is a humongous conclusion, but I um, <laughs> shouldn't have said 500 words in here. My bad. No, it's okay. Okay, so this is the article. Let's see how it looks like. And... Um, Generate five catchy titles under 60 characters containing the seed keyword. Is long and fruit safe for dogs? Should you feed longer to your dogs? Uh, yeah, I'll choose this one. This one is a safe choice since it has the 
see keywords in it. Okay. Let's make it an H1 by pressing this character here. Okay. We don't need the intro. And this is our article. So look at this. And guys, so I couldn't, couldn't help it. I pasted it into your writer, even though I said that there, there won't be any paid tools. But I just wanted to check how good of an optimized article this is. And this turned out to be a 2300 word article. Let's just get rid of the Roman letters in case the they affect the SEO score. I don't think they will, but still, just to make sure. And this looks better without the wrong letters. Consult the veterinarian. Conclusion. So look at that. We're at 66 and we haven't used a single tool. And I've been changing my view about the SEO optimization tools like Human Writer. And it's not that I think they're useless. It's just when you're producing an over-optimized article and rank it, you don't have any leeway to bump it up further unless you want to buy backlinks. So I would be more than happy to post it as is, see if it ranks after three to four weeks. And if it lands like on page two, I would leave it be. If it ranks so page three and four, I would optimize it with NLP terms with NeuroWriter and then uh, it will improve the rankings. So don't give everything away. Don't go all in on your article. And so of course, we have this beautiful feature inside NeuroWriter, which is FAQ within use terms. And this should bump it up to a respectable 70 plus or maybe even 80. So this is our FAQ. And this is 73, as I said. Okay, so I almost forgot to double check the originality score. And what we won't be doing, we won't be copying the FAQs from Neuron Writer because this has been written by GPT 3.5. And we don't want to show that on originality. So everything up to the conclusion, up to the FAQ section, Ctrl C, let's go to originality, scans, uh, start new scan. Let's paste this over. So this is our article. Scan now. And this is 74% original. So no extra prompting, nothing creative, and already a highly, highly original blog post. So there you have it. This is how you write an SEO optimized article with Claude. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.